Riverside Mobile Home Park is still rebuilding after a windstorm destroyed over 40 homes nearly six weeks ago. And KXY 4's Katie Curry working for you with a look at what residents are still dealing with. It took over two weeks for the entire park to regain power, and just last week a boil order was lifted on their water. Now the issue is cleanup. Large piles of lumber and debris scattered all over the north end of the park. Destroyed homes sit vacant, just as they did the day the storm first hit. But spirits are still high at Riverside Mobile Home Park. Yes, a whole lot of us has uh, gotten our lives together. Uh, some of us has decided to move on and everything. But, you know, a bunch of us is staying here and we're rebuilding. KXLY spoke with Lonnie Jones just days after the storm first hit. He says a lot of progress has been made, but there is still a lot of work to be done. They don't have access to the equipment and resources needed to remove everything. We don't, don't have a whole lot of money like some people do have. You know, everyone's looking at that dollar figure sign, and that's not what it's about right now. Residents say they are appreciative for volunteers who continue to bring food and clothes. But the real help they need now is manpower. Residents say the most frustrating part is all the unanswered questions. They say there has been very little help from the government, a lot of empty promises. Yes, it is private property, but there's other places that has been, you know, in disasters, and they came and they helped them out. Jones says the community will do what they can until help is provided. He says despite everything, the community is closer than ever. It's a process that we're going through and it's just going to take some time and getting it all built back together. With it being Labor Day, we were unable to get in contact with anyone from the county, but today contractors were on site sorting wood so a lumber company can come tomorrow and see if they can take any of it. Reporting in Riverside, Katie Curry, KXLY4 News.